Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohi and this is the day 26 of the service portal training. In this day we will talk about the localization. So what is the localization and how we can implement the localization in our service portal. So let's understand one thing. The service portal is built for the end user. So maybe this project or this portal is accessible from different different country people, different different region people. And um, the people they are in a different region, they want to know or they want to see the portal in their native language instead of English. So in that case, we can translate our complete portal to that. Um, instead of English, we can completely ch translate our portal to uh, their native language. So so um, that's the reason we can implement the localization. Now in the service portal, um, we can implement our port in a good manner or in a uh, such a way that it can be automatically translated based on their current language or else you can uh, use the google automatic translator so that it can automatically translate now what will be happen if you use the google translator sometime the translation text is not in your hand so which is automatically coming from the google right so you don't have complete hand or you don't know the what the user is seeing Right. So in that case, what we can do, uh, we can do the control in our hand and then based on that, whatever message or text, I just want to show that end user, I can show that. So in that case, we need the trans, uh, I mean, we need the localization. So let's say that I stay in the Thailand or maybe uh, I know the Thai language only. So I can read the uh, my portal, the end user portal in Thai language only. Okay, so let's understand that how we can build because this functionality is provided by service now how we can uh, use the translation method in our service portal to support this functionality I'm going to build or I'm going to create a new widget and in this new widget I'm going to show you that how we can translate that before I start I would request everyone to please like share and subscribe I can see a lot of people does not subscribe my channel please like share and subscribe and uh, hit on the bell icon to get the notification of my video. So now uh, let's understand that how we can enable the localization. So if you see here, if I go back to my profile, under this profile, if, if your organization already uh, enabled the localization, you will be able to see most of the cases the organization have enabled the localization. And if you go back to your user profile, you will be able to see the many languages available here. If that uh, if the apart from system none of these language are available, it means that localization is not enabled. And uh, in that point, there is no, no no point to discuss that. But if we want to build your portal, let's say that this portal, how how can we help you automatically translate and show in a different language? In that case, I mean, diff uh, based on that, uh, I mean, Thai language, Japanese, Chinese language automatically based on the user preference. In that case, we need localization. To localization to enable this localization we first need to be enable the internationalized uh, plugins and once you enable that you will be able to see the different language will be present on the user table based on the user language the system will understand that which language he belongs and based on that the portal will be detected their language and translate on that language okay so let's go back to our documentation first thing first we need to verify that internationalization plugin is enabled or not so if I go back my plugins table, so if I go back to my plugins table, um, I already enabled that, but I just want to show you that which um, plugins actually you have to be uh, enabled in case if you want to try in your personal environment. So if you copy this internationalize this one and then search here, you can see if I scroll down, there will be a package. So you can directly uh, install that package and based on this package, it will be, you can see this internationalized, you can see it's already, I have already in, in, uh, installed. So you can see uh, it's simply Chinese, Norway, so uh, Finnish. So every uh, French you can, uh, I mean, this package have this, all these um, country, I mean, 23 applications. So if you want to enable for a specific language, you can go and then, Maybe you can install a Thai language or maybe you can install that uh, any of this particular language. Okay. So once you load that second thing is that um, you need to create a widget. So we are going to uh, to support this. We need to be, uh, you know, create a, um, uh, you know, widget. So let's go back to our widget and then I'm going to create a widget. So 
So let's say that for example, I have created this widget and this widget I'm going to see in here um, in our case. Okay. So let's go back here and if I say that hi and then I'll say that hello. Okay. So this text I am creating and then if I go back to my profile and then if I change my language to the Thai language, uh, for example, because Thai language will be um, will be seen in a uh, very good way. So I'll select the Thai first. So once I um, Change my language and you can see it's automatically change this all this label in a Thai and it is looking I mean um, the reason I changed that Thai language is that you won't be able to I mean you will you will be able to complete a differentiate between English and Thai so you can see all this text field, I mean this level, field level got changes to the Thai language. So, and then the UI action menus are getting translated. So people can start, you know, seeing those uh, data and understand based on their Thai language. Now, if I go back here and then if we refresh our page or code that whatever I have written, that text, the portal will not be translated. You can see this is not get translated. The menus in the top got translated but the bottom whatever I created the custom widget that not translated. Now the question is how can you translate that automatically uh, from I mean normal this text is not getting translated right. So how can you translate that text. So there are uh, three methods for three purpose. The first method I'll show you that and then how this translation will work I'll, told, uh, I'll, I'll show you that. So first thing. All this translation or the text will be present under sys underscore ui underscore message table. Under this message ccy message table, you will be able to see the um, three fields. One is the key, then language, and then message. Key is used for which text, for language is for which language, and message is what I should show. Okay. So let's say if I put hi. So if your message is high, so it is you need to define here. So I already as I loaded the internationalized plugin automatically is loaded uh, some for the sum of the uh, language and you can see for high what is happening this text will be visible. So for high this message will be visible in case your custom text custom text is not present you can create your own text here and then that is represent to your uh, you know um, portal okay. So let's say that our case I put that hi and then comma hello and these texts are not getting translated whenever the user language got changed to Thai language right. To do that what we have to do let's search that whatever text we are going to put that. So let's say I am going to put that hello and then hello also have some uh, Thai language and offer all this language okay. So let's say uh, I am saying that uh, hi uh, hello or maybe hi I am good. Okay, so this I am good this text is it available here. So let's see I am good this text is available or not. So this I am good this text is not available in that case you can create your own um, message here and based on that you can put that message and then it will automatically translate basically. Okay, so what I'll do uh, so uh, so far you understand that from where this message will be show to this portal from this CCY message that uh, this text will be translated and visible here. Now how we can translate okay. So let's refresh our page here first. So this is our message hi I am good and then this hi and I am good should be translated right. To translate that uh, we have three method. So directly we can translate from this um, you know um, HTML. So if because if you are putting some text directly here you can put the translation directly here. If you are um, getting some text or setting some value into client side, we can do that translation in client side. If you are uh, using that uh, server side, you are getting some value in the server side, you can also translate into server side. So three way we can translate. The first way is that I'll show you that in um, client side, how can we do that? So in this um, HTML side, to do the translation support, you need to put dollar and then you need to put the curly braces and then under the curly braces, you will have the text. Okay. Again for um, I mean for sentence or uh, long long key you can put that like I'm breaking that high and then I'm breaking this one okay so two way I mean I'm breaking in two parts so this is the high and then I am good I'm putting in a, a, another part now I'll change my language here let's say uh, I mean as I mentioned that I am good this keyword is present or not let's see this keyword is not present but is high present 
thai is present okay so i'll change my thai language and see that what will be happen so i'll go by to go back to my profile and then i'll change my language to from english to thai and save that and here i will refresh my portal page and you can see high text got changes and from where it is changes or from where this value is coming this value is coming from on uh, ccy message but this i am good is not coming because i am good text is not present to the ccy message so in case if you want to translate completely 100% you need to put or you need to check that each and every sentence are present to the ccy language uh, ccy message for that particular language now this i am good is not present to the ccy message and that's the reason it is not getting translated okay so if the key or the value is not present to uh, in your um <coughs> and your ccy message whatever text it is um like whatever text actually in english that text will be represent here so in our case this text is not present to the ccy message that's the reason it is just simply showing to the um english message now for that what i'll do i'll go back again and change my uh, language to the english um, and then what i'll do i'll copy this and maybe i can go back to my translator and then check that what should be the value or may, maybe you can go to the google and you can get that value and then use that so let's say i'm doing that so simply in google what i did i paste my text and i got that translation text i'll copy that and then what i'll do i'll um, go back to this uh, cis ui message table i'll go back to the cis ui message table and then from the cis ui message uh, I click the new and then here I should select the Thai language equal to Thai and this will be my uh, you know key and then this is the, uh, the the translation that I have received from the Google or maybe if you receive from the translator that's very good so you put that so now I know that I mean uh, for each and every language you need to create uh, indefinitely so you can use the Google translator sheet to automatically translate that or else you can use or you can get this value from your translator um, you will ask the customer and then customer can provide that now our translation is ready and what i'll do i'll go back here and then i'll change my language again and see that it is working or not so i'll simply change and save now if we refresh our page here you can see both the text got translated basically this text uh, is coming from the backend ccy message so that is the one way because if sometime we can directly hard code it here and then that we have possibility that we can put simply dollar and then i mean uh, this braces it will automatically translate if the value is present to the ccy message if not then it will just simply show into the english now next let's say that this message is not coming uh, from this uh, um you know directly here this is coming from the server side script you you got the value from server side script and then from the server side script i'm getting that so let's say that here i'll uh, create a value called data dot uh, text here under this text uh, i am getting this value uh, let's say i am good this value and this value i am binding here so so let's say i am binding here in some cases directly what will be happen or how we can translate that so let's say this you are getting this value from the server side and then you want to bind that data in your portal how can we do that so right now you can see it is not getting translated the message hi got translated but i am good is not getting translated how can we translate that to translate that from the server side to that um i mean if your text is in the server side you can't put that like dollar and then like that it won't be work let's try that so if we do like that so let's say that you are getting the value and then you try to translate directly in the html let's see what happens so we do that and let's refresh that so still you can see it is not working the translation is not working so we can't put that here dollar and this these things okay for that what we have to do we have to use that gs dot get message okay and using the get message we can translate our text and then the value whatever is present to that backend um, you know um, um, in our ccy message that value can be came up and show here 
and you can see right now it's automatically translated so so two options so far we have learned first we can directly assign this value or else you can directly uh, put this value call here in server side and that value can be present to here okay that value can be uh, translate so gs.get message will automatically translate that whatever text is that and then that text can be binded here so third option is that we can get the data in from the client side let's say that we are getting the data from a different source maybe we are getting from integration script and viewer maybe somehow we are getting the data into the client side and that message we want to bind into our html right so how can we do that for that in this uh, client side we are going to use that i18 next uh that services uh, which is available in uh, angular js or maybe that is also available in um, javascript so if you search in google that i19 i mean i next or i18 n you will get the documentation called i i18 n uh, i mean next uh, this method for that similar method we are going to use in our service now so what we look in this case similarly that sp include or dollar http services we need to include that i uh, 18 n services so we'll just put that i 18 n which is nothing but i 18 internationalized 18 uh, next to this uh, method we are going to include and now what we'll do let's say first uh, what i am going to do here i am going to declare a variable so let's say that i'm going to declare the c dot uh, data dot text to and then here i'm just putting that hello this text and then if we print this text if this text won't be translated so let's see so if we are uh, printing here let's say uh, if we just put this text and then refresh our uh, case here this hello message did not get translated because we don't put the translation we need to put the translation support right to put the translation support what we have to do we just initially have to i mean you can see this is that hello and then what we can do we can use that i18 and get method so what i have to do here so let's say that i18 n dot get message and then under this message we need to pass the text so let's say i'm putting i'm putting this text so this text and then comma we need to put the function and under this function we just need to be put the response and this response will be uh, binded with this response so so this value will be response so this is uh, this i89 these um, will not be work um, i mean synchronously that's the reason we need to be call that callback function using the callback function what we are doing whatever text we are passing the text will be sent to this um, uh, services and then the service will respond and then the response need to be binded like similar way we did for that uh, widget or other thing so let's save that and if we refresh that let's first see that this translation is happening or not and now you can see initially when we load that the text was hello and then after some time this text changed to that um, Thai language called hello okay how it get that initially the value was hello and then after that we pass this hello and then we got a response and then response bind it with this hello so this might be little time consuming or might be little might be initially when we are loading the page the page at uh, that time it is showing the english and then getting translated so that's the one method you can use or else the simple method is that uh, you can directly use that so you just need to be put that dollar and here you just need to be put this curly braces simply you don't need to use a get message or get thing anything so you just need to put dollar and then this one the way you are doing the html so you just need to bind that and then if you refresh that it also can be translate that your text so you can see in that moment you don't need to put that hello or anything so it will automatically translate you don't need to do anything so these are the three method that the uh, using this three method we can uh, put uh, work on the translation and based on your current language it will be translated that uh, the text will be translated and you can completely actually translate your page but you need to be put each and every message to your uh, portal so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day